So this is Act 2, Scene 2. Um, so if you remember previously, we had Edmund go on his little spell in the previous uh, scene. And Edmund kind of joins forces with Reagan here. And Reagan is the second daughter of Lear, who is married to Cornwall. Um, in this scene, we're in the Earl of Gloucester's home. And in this scene, Oswald, the servant of Goneril, first daughter of Lear, arrives. He's delivering a letter from Goneril. And Kent also arrives. Sometimes he is referred to as Caius. So I don't know what version you're reading. Um, but if you are... Um, and you hear the word Caius, it's just Kent. So because Kent and Oswald are in the same uh, scene here, Kent is upset and he begins to attack Oswald. Um, now you may be confused at why he does this. Kent is very loyal to Lear. So if you go back, and this was in Act one scene four, I believe. Maybe not. Yes, it was. It was in Act One, Scene Four. Uh, Oswald insults Lear, and he struck struck his face. He slaps him, hits him, uh, and uh, Kent does not like this. But remember. Kent is in disguise, so Oswald doesn't know that this is Kent. So as a result of this, he throws him in these stocks, and it's basically, you can see in this photo here, it's just two pieces of wood typically nailed together or chained together. So he's just incapacitated at the moment. He can't move, um, but he just kind of rambles on, basically saying, you know, um, you're low life, um, you slave, uh, you neat slave, and... They just kind of go back and forth, you bastard. Um, he doesn't like him at all. Um, so they keep fighting. Now, it's interesting how the powers shift here because you have Cornwall and Reagan, who are, just to kind of put in perspective for you, they're basically ruling England now um, because Lear is no longer being referred to as king. He's been called fool. He's been called thy lady's father, but he has not been called king anymore. He's been stripped of this title. Um, this might cause some strain here with Goneril and Regan. Regan's joined forces with Edmund, who is the bastard son of Gloucester. And um, they're all kind of working together. Remember, Edgar is also the son of Gloucester, but he has been banished and his dad has called for his death because Edmund, in the last scene, uh, is stirring the pot a little bit. Um, so Oswald confesses he has a letter from Goneril to Regan because Lear is on his way, um, to see her, uh, by the end of the scene, we find out that Kent has a letter from Cordelia, um, pretty much reminding us that she's still very involved in the story. The last time that we saw her was act one, scene one. So he basically says, approach thou thou beacon to this underglobe that by thy comfortable beams I may peruse this letter. So he's saying, please take me out of these stocks because I have a letter from Cordelia. Nothing almost sees miracles but misery. I know tis from Cordelia who hath most fortunately been informed of my obscured course. So he reads the letter, uh, basically saying that she now has time and she's away from monstr monstrous conditions um, and she's going to find a way to fix things. Um, so he's ready to get out of the stocks and he's ready to um, be involved with Cordelia. So remember back in Act 1, Scene 1, he was the only one to step in for her and kind of take reins for her. Um, so I want you to kind of keep that in mind a little bit as we go forth with the rest of the story.